some Formula One front suspension has seen the disappearance of those classical anti-roll bar we all got to know. Instead emerge a direct mechanical link that looks to lock both left and right suspension, rendering the front suspension devoid of having any roll. However, is this really the case? After some observation, ironically, even though the link looks to lock the two front wheels from moving in different directions, this does not seem to be the case. Formula 1 cars running such a design still have their front suspension moving individually or independent of each other, only to be influenced by some kind of anti-roll device. Let's take a look at Lewis Hamilton as he chases down Pierre Gasly. Two points to be made as an observation. One, as mentioned earlier, the wheels are not locked to each other as they move independently of each other. The other is how Mercedes AMG's front suspension becomes really compliant or soft over the curbs when Lewis has slowed down as he ends his race. Observe how compliant the suspension is on the slowdown lap over this curb and compare it to when the car is doing race pace going over the same curb which looks to be much more stiffer. This means they have managed to set up the front suspension that is good over slow corners while being able to run the curbs better without the front bouncing about when downforce is lacking. Then its suspension stiffness rises accordingly to speed, extra downforce and both longitudinal and lateral g-force. So the rate of the suspension going from soft to hard is greater than a normal constant spring load. Observing the front suspension design, this rendering is done to see how the two links that looks to lock both front wheels actually move independently. What was the torsion bar spring now may be made into an anti-roll device. There is also those variable length push rods that induce warp triggered by steering angle. These were cleverly planned out to curb low speed understeer by getting the car to lean on its front wheels via WAP attributes on the long wheel based Mercedes AMG Formula 1 car. Hinting that the front suspension may not be able to articulate enough to reduce understeer at low speeds. At high speed corners, this won't affect aerodynamics nor high speed setup, as high speed corners only require minimum steering angle, hence cleverly planned out.